Hey everybody, it's Josh here again. So this video will be a little bit different in the sense that I'm just gonna be talking about myself and some plans for the near future. I actually decided to enroll in WGU's computer science program. So I thought I'd make a video in case anyone else was thinking about doing the same thing. Maybe this would come in handy to them. So if you already know me and you're wondering why I'm getting another degree, it's because there's this really cool PhD program at Dakota State University that requires some kind of degree in computer science, either like a bachelor's or a master's, which I actually don't have either one of those. So I figured since I'm pretty familiar with WG already and it can be done pretty fast if you plan for it and do everything right and it can be pretty cheap, I figured it would be the best choice to get the computer science undergrad from. And even if I don't get into this particular program, I think having the computer science degree can only help me in the future. Like if I discover a different program or I want to like go into software engineering or something. Plus, I really like coding and I, I kind of like computer science in general. So I figured it couldn't hurt. So my main goal and kind of my main plan with the computer science degree at WGU is to minimize the time I'm spent in the actual program trying to complete work. Like what I mean by this is I don't want to enroll today, for example, and then spend like four months trying to complete calculus and data structures and algorithms. I, I wanna minimize the time that I'm actually doing classes inside the program, if that makes sense. I'll dive into the details here in a second, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-game or like pre-study as much of the curriculum as I can and, and like relearn calculus and relearn data structures and algorithms and, and kind of draft up the capstone, like the, the final for the program and kind of get all of this ready and then register for the program and just complete everything as, as fast as humanly possible possible. That's the plan. I actually use the same strategy when doing my master's of science in cybersecurity and information assurance from WGU. I kind of pre-gamed it as much as I could, like I studied for CEH and stuff before I even registered. And then from the time I, I registered for the program to the time I finished my last class was only 12 days. So I finished the master's degree in 12 days, but I don't think that's going to happen with this degree because the master's was, was pretty easy, ironically, compared to computer science. I'm pretty sure once I actually register, like from that date, I'll be able to graduate within six months. I'll shoot for three months. I'll try really hard to hit three months, but I'm pretty certain I'll be able to finish the whole program within six months, but we'll we'll see what happens. So if you're thinking about doing computer science or you just want to stick around to check out the plan, go ahead and smash the like button and we'll get into it. So if you've seen any of my other videos before, this screen might look kind of familiar. Basically what this is, is uh, all the classes required for the computer science degree at WGU. And I kind of organized them into separate columns. This, this complete column here, by the way, I haven't had my transcript evaluated yet. So I just kind of made a best guess. I'm still waiting for them to evalu evaluate it. But this complete column, it consists of the classes that either I've completed in my undergrad or they're satisfied by a certificate or, or something like this. Basically, they're classes that I don't have to worry about once I, once I register. And this incomplete column in red is basically the stuff that I, I predict that I'm going to have to do once I register for the program. And I kind of organized them um, in, in a certain way. Like I, I kind of read on Reddit for each one of these courses. Um, this All these links for this is going to be in the des description, by the way. But I went on Reddit and I kind of got a general sentiment for how easy or difficult some of the classes were. And if I thought that um, the class was easy for me because I, I've done it before or something, I just marked it as easy. And then you'll notice for these ones, this that has like this preparation thing here and it's, it's in bold. This is the stuff that I'm going to try to complete before I actually register for the program. And the rest of the stuff, I'm just going to worry about it once I'm actually registered. I'm going to kind of go in blind, I guess you could say. So everything you see here that has, you know, marked for preparation, I kind of aggregated or I gathered up some, some stuff that I'm going to do that I must complete before I actually register for the computer science program. So for example, if we look at calculus, this one's probably going to be the most time consuming. Calculus is not, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's that hard if you are pretty solid in algebra, but there's a lot of topics in it and it's quite, it's quite large. The calculus at WGU, it requires like, um, like, all of differential calculus, well, I don't know if I can say all, but it requires differential calculus, integral calculus, and some differential equations, I believe. It's pretty big. Um, so I'm going to try to complete my kind of pre-study material that I, I gathered. So for example, if we look at calculus over here, and then we look on this column, this kind of separate Word document. So to con consider my, my pre-gaming or my priming complete, I'm going to finish all of this Khan Academy um, AP Calculus AB. Um, Khan Academy is pretty good. They have some really quality videos and they have uh, a lot of practice problems and it's a pretty decent platform. And then um, I'm actually going to take the calculus course from straight liner or straighter line. <laughs> I'm going to take the calculus course from straighter line and you can actually like take the class from there for I think it's like 100 
bucks to enroll than like $60 for the class or something, you can take the class and then you can tra actually transfer that credit to WGU. So you don't have to deal with calculus like while you're actually registered at WGU. And there's a couple other benefits to straighter line. Only, I guess there's only one proctored exam and that's the final exam. And you can use, it's like open book and an open note from what I hear anyway, from a couple of Reddit posts. And also if you if you do all the um, the homework ahead of time, like the exams or, and homework or whatever, and you get like a perfect score on them, I need to research this a little bit more. You can basically like fail the final and you can still you can still pass the class and get credit and then transfer it to WGU. So because calculus like tends to take a while, I'm definitely gonna um, complete the straighter line calculus course and then transfer that into the program. And as, as for the rest of the math, I'm just going to try to, you know, do all these things, you know, from Khan Academy, the probability and stats, um, this discrete mathematics one and two, these are just some resources, resources I, I found on Reddit, I just kind of researched what other people use to prepare for the class and gather stuff which helped them. So I'm just going to try to complete all of this stuff here. And then as I complete those things, you know, I'll just I'll just like come over here and then and then mark them off like this. And as for data structures and algorithms, um, I took this actually in in college before, but I'm super rusty, super rusty because like 10 years ago or something. And it's not something that I, I use every day. Um, so I'm going to use I already bought this actually it's he it's called code with mosh um i use him for a lot like almost all of my like coding tutorials like if he has the stuff that i want to learn i'll usually buy the course from him because it's pretty good he gives a lot of real world nuance and it's pretty much my favorite tutorial so for data structure and algorithm i'm going to use code with mosh and then this scripting and programming foundations um from what i gather on reddit the general consensus is this class is pretty easy but i it uses Python and I actually haven't used Python at work or like pretty much anywhere like outside of tutorials. So I figured that I would just kind of, um, you know, prime myself with it with, you know, this guy's tutorial so I can just go in and maybe bang it out in like two hours or something like this. I think it's a yeah, it's, a, it's an objective assessment. So I can just take the, you know, take the exam essentially. Uh, same with this, this scripting and programming, it looks like it uses C++. Um, again, I haven't I haven't used C++ outside of an academic setting or C even outside of like a lab. Um, so I figured I would go through this tutorial. This is just another one that was recommended on Reddit for kind of getting getting good at the course, I guess, or getting good at, at C++. And um, yeah, I'm pretty much for SQ or software quality assurance, I pretty much don't have, I don't really have experience with this. So I'm just gonna, again, just some curricula or just some uh, recommended study stuff I gathered from Reddit. And then the computer science capstone, basically, I'm just gonna look at the WG has like what's called the capstone archive, where you can kind of look in there and look at previous students like previous comp sci students capstones and kind of get a good idea for what, like what's good or, or not so basically the plan is i'm just gonna like actually do the capstone it, i'll consider a, a draft but i'm gonna finish the actual capstone before i even register for the program so i don't really have to deal with it like once i've actually like entered the program i'll just kind of have the capstone and if the requirements change or something i'll just tweak it a little bit and then i'll, I'll kind of submit it like that Again, I'll make both of these documents here, this spreadsheet and this Word doc. These are all links, by the way. I'll make both of these available in the description, so feel free to check those out. But yeah, that's kind of my pre-game, pre-study plan for the WGU computer science degree. Hopefully I can finish it within three months, but we'll see, I guess. If you have any thoughts about my plan, I, I definitely want to hear them. Like, do you think I'm overestimating it or underestimating it? Like, are you in the same program and did you make your own plan? I, I definitely want to hear all that. So just, you know, don't hesitate to, to leave comments. But yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching this far. If you have any questions or anything, just please feel free to let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any advice for me, please let me know because I, I definitely need any and all help that I can possibly get from people. Other than that, if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. I actually use this thing. Yeah, Monet.
マジで微分積分難しすぎていつも間違った時ファックと叫んだもう。